Hey guys, Mr. Short Hitter here. Today, we're gonna do the Snail NTB Black. I'm gonna test out this golf ball, see how it performs, see how it flies. We already did the Snail MTBX. I know a lot of people like these golf balls, so let's do it. Five holes to go, just play 13. Need to palm away in, gotta hit mo greens. All right guys, we're on a 354 yard par four uphill. Bunker on the right, just to see how this ball performs. Try to hit a fade off this first tee box. All right guys, I would probably consider that a straight ball. You know, maybe that's a good thing if you can't work it. Let's get up there, get to it. All right guys, I got 117 to a middle pin. It's a decent drive, decent distance for me. I could hit it probably about a little under 240, which is about right for me. We're gonna hit a wedge. This green falls off a little left, so we wanna stay a little right of the flag if we can. All right guys, just like I said, we wanna stay a little right of the flag, so I pulled it, went left of the flag, and missed the green left. Side hill slope, just pulled it a little bit, hit a bad swing. Let's see if we can get up and down. All right guys, so far, I like the feel of this golf ball. Not too soft, not too hard for me. Actually, it actually flew straight on those two shots I hit. One, I tried to fade it and it went dead straight, and the second one, I just pulled it. So, I like, so far, I like the performance. Now we're gonna play a 309 yard par four downhill. Okay guys, of course, now when I don't try to hit the fade, I hit the fade. So I think I'm on the right side of the fairway, have some kind of wedge in. It'd be a nice way to come into the green and see how it feels off of a shorter wedge. All right guys, we got 69 yards to the flag, a back pin, thankfully, but we have a little, little rough to go over, helping wind a little. So it's not really a very conducive shot to stopping because this is a little downhill and it's very firm. So we're gonna have to nip it pretty good to stop it. You can see that tee, that's how far the ball rolled. So guys, if you watched Oktoberfest, you know that this putt is no gimme for me. Hey. If I could have only done that in Oktoberfest, we probably wouldn't have had a playoff. We're gonna see if we can go back to back with the snail. We got a 380 yard uphill par four. So we're in position A1. We had a pretty good drive there. Felt good. I think this compression of this ball has got to be, I'm sure it's a urethane cover. Compression has got to be somewhere around 80 or so from the way it feels. All right, guys, we got 138 pin. We're going uphill. So we're going to hit an eight iron. Should be a perfect club. Perfect club, but not the perfect swing. We're in the short right which with this pin is probably the best place to be all right guys look like the ball hit the, just short of the green bounced up rolled back down the slope we're probably 25 to 30 feet from the hole two putt would be pretty good here all right guys that's the on course performance of the snail it's almost snuck in back to back birdies there the ball feels pretty darn good so far we'll test the numbers inside and let you know what i come up with right back guys all right guys we're going to look at the performance uh from 50 yards first with the snail black the launch was about four and a half degrees higher than the pro v1 which is kind of not uh unusual for balls that cost a little bit less money it seems they launch higher there but the spin was really good and the descent four degrees sharper due to the fact that it had four and a half degrees higher launch. With a seven iron, the snail black ball speed was only one mile per hour slower. The launch almost two degrees higher here, but the spin again, really good uh, within about a hundred of the Pro V1. The descent 
three degrees sharper. Carry and total were right on, only a yard shorter than the Pro V1 on the, the uh, total. With the driver, the Snail Black was one mile per hour slower. The launch was about a degree and a half higher and the spin was within 100 RPMs with uh, the Pro V1 there also. So that was pretty good. The descent three degrees sharper and only one yard's difference in the total. I hope you enjoyed my video on the Snail MTB Black. If you want to see the video on the other snail ball I did, click the video on to my left. If you like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, Mr. Short Hitter, out. My games are seen now, hooks and big fades, it's not my day now, why did I play now, just clear my head.